Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. I'm going to take you on a tour of the latest Element 27. Uh, if you watch these videos a lot, you'll know that this is probably the one we build most of. It's around 8.6 meters long. It's based on the Iveco Daily 72C210 with the 210 horsepower engine, eight speed auto, airbag suspension, all the option packs from Iveco. Beautiful. And you'll see a couple of things that these customers have done. They've gone to a manual awning for their own preference. Obviously, you know, that's a personal choice and we're happy to do that. And the outside storage. Got our big drawer. You can see the hoses and stuff that come with it there as well. Power leads. That's nice and easy accessible. Waterproof, nice compression locks there on the rubber seals. All of these locks that look like this have got the automatic central locking system. Double entry step there in this compartment. We've got the fuel for the generator as well as access to the manual override for the slide out. There's a medic door here with a security screen. Storage under here for, you call it an umbrella holder. Nice courtesy lights. Double entry steps in here. Very, very nice. You can see all the outside lights are on here at the moment, too. Nice and bright. Lots of, uh, lots of light for when you keep it at night time. We'll do another night time video for the next day. So, the outdoor storage area. This is actually part of the bottom of the kitchen here. You might have spotted in the top there. This is part of how we mount the microwave down so everything's very secure. The strap just there. Outside TV. It's a 24 inch. You can have this either as a smart TV or a DVD TV. The inside unit is a Samsung 32 inch. Small, nice slide bracket there. Just falls very easily. Outside power point located right next to the fold down table. So that comes down, it's locked up there at the moment. You've got your two. Four kilo gas bottles. Yeah, they're on a slide there. The slide comes out. Nice and secure. Nice and safe. You can see the seal on the door there. It's all made beautifully there. So this is the current or going forward, this is the, the standard power system. So you've got a 300 amp hour and a drive lithium battery with a 2000 watt inverter and the red arc battery management system and red vision control system there. So in an element that's the standard setup. We've had a few people lately go for the bigger inverter, like in the Meridian, but definitely a decent power system there. And that combined with 720 watts of solar means that you pretty much don't have to really think about what you're using power-wise. You can just use as you like. Yeah, the colour scheme's nice there with that maroon. It's good. You've got the hard cover on the back for the spare tyre. You've got the aluminium bumper bar, all colour-coded nicely. They've added a little tap here on the back bumper, which is nice. Tow bar standard. You've got your continuous gas hot water system there. And some more rear lighting. This is one that was ordered, one of the last ones was ordered before the 360 cameras became standard. So we've got the, the dual reverse camera system up there. Yeah, this is your services connection area. So you've got your power inlet, water tank fill, and your town pressure inlet there as well. So you can leave that hooked up. More storage down here. You can see the generator under here. So generator standard. It's the Gometic Tech 29. So that's ample to run your, um, your air conditioning or charge your batteries if you need to. But like I said before, the amount of solar on board does that easy. This has got the cassette toilet on board with the external uh, sob ventilation. This is this extra ducting here and that just keeps any smells from going inside the motorhome. Technically it means you can get away without using chemicals too if you really want to. 
which might open up the possibilities of using different bump points that might not be uh, applicable. So on the roof, you can't really see it there, we've got a wind guard antenna and the satellite television as well. Definitely a nice colour scheme this one. The bottom colour here is the uh, magnet, it's called magnetic grey, magnetic metallic grey. So if that's the colour that you're looking at, it's going to um, give you that choice. You'll see most of the ones we draw in that colour, it's a popular colour. Let's have a look at some of the storage here. The bed. All nicely finished off. Um, plenty of space in the under there. So under the bed, you've always got a 12 volt socket and 240 volt. So if you've got various things you want to charge up under there, you might want to put another fridge under there. Bike, battery chargers. Got playing on there. More storage. So this is an L-shaped lounge model, which means it's got a little bit more space here than the dinette. So both those areas there open right up. Obviously both have plenty of storage. One thing that sets us apart, which I point out in all our videos, is the lower storage bins out here actually come out with the slide out, so you're not climbing underneath to access those. And now there's no load limit on those guys, so we're not limiting customers really in any way from a loading perspective. You can see the hydraulic legs under there as well. Side steps all standard, courtesy light up the top there. So you're back to the weight. So you've got a 7.2 ton GBM on these and full of water, full of fuel, everything fitted. These weigh about 5.6 to 5.7 ton, depending on your final specs. So that means you've got over a ton and a half load capacity and it's balanced really well too. So you've got around 700 kilos available on the front and around 1,500 available on the rear. So because of that, we, like I said, have no restrictions on customers on carrying whatever they want and even wherever they want from a distribution perspective. All right, let's go inside and have a look at the color scheme of this one. I think you'll love it. It's a bit different. We've done lots of grays lately. These guys have gone more for, uh, let's call it a warmer color scheme. So the front seats are swiveled around, ready to head off. They'll be itching to leave. This is the mud cake colour leather. It's more of a brown, like a deep kind of brown colour. It's nice. And then when you pick that colour leather there, it, then it gets matched into the top section. So this is all genuine leather as well here too. So it's kind of... All right, let's have a bit of a look around. Nice. All right, so cabinets, like I said, mud cake leather, champagne in the lighter color on the cabinets, and the graphite ultra gloss metallic, as let's call it the feature color on the sides. You can see you got your feature lighting lit up down the bottom there. L-shaped lounge, which is definitely the most popular option. 32 inch TV, you've got the room up the top there, you can see they've got the vast box up the top. There's room for other television bits you might want. Very nice. All right, let's have a look at the front. So, like I mentioned before, while we're outside, we're on the bigger, heavy Judy Ibeco. So it's got the 7.2 ton GBM. It's got all the option packs that we can get. So things like diff lock, Apple CarPlay, lane departure warning, multifunction steering wheel, all things that come along with that. Definitely a nice. A nice base vehicle for this size motorhome, and in our opinion, obviously the right choice. Like I said, the front seats are all around. You've got your leveling system here. This red foot. And like a lot of things, there's an app now you can control it through your phone. All right, cupboard space. There's your PowerPoint in there. You've got the light-up area 
under here. So this is, we refer to this as like an appliance cupboard or coffee. So you get your vertical lift door. And then that drawer slides out like that. So you can have your coffee machine or toaster kettle, anything in there ready to go. Lots of drawer space. You notice these beautiful solid stainless steel locks. Everything closes nicely. Fridge. So all at almost 100, 220 litres. It's quite a big fridge. It's on now, yeah, nice and cold. So this is a compressor fridge. Some people might refer to it as a two-way. Uh, it runs on 12 volt which nowadays with current solar and batteries and stuff, that's definitely the, the way to go. Technically, we could still fit a three-way fridge in here, but it's been some time since we've done that. Beautiful leather finish there on the side of the lounge. Some more drawer space. Nice big drawer. See how solid the bracket is there for the table. So that's a spinning bracket and it goes up and down too. So you can actually rotate that around and push it down. It'll create like a coffee table effect here instead of the dining table in the position it's announced as a, as a dining table. But if you turn it around, it'll give like a coffee table effect. Now you get your nice sink area, drain, tray. The sink has an additional little tap there, which has got the filter in it. Again, top of the range Blum cabinetry hardware. This is the Lakra Box range from Blum. Got some accessories there. You got the foil and cling wrap dispenser and the beautifully fitted cutlery tray there as well. This is it's hard to explain, but it's got like a rubberized finish on it too. Plenty of space there. Look how big that drawer is. See the fire blanket there. So from a safety perspective, we have a number of things standard here. We've got a gas detector, we've got a CO2 and smoke alarm, fire blankets, and obviously the construction techniques add to the safety as well. The windows have a built-in blind and fly screen set up. So a blind from the bottom, fly screen from the top. It's a black mesh there. The windows are double uh, glazed acrylic. Nice built-in cooktop. Just the two gas and one electric. You can get this with three gas as well. Got the oven grill combo. Range was beautifully built in there. Some cupboards. Again, all the beautiful soft close mechanisms. Solid stainless steel locks. I quite like the champagne. It's got like a metallic if you can see it, it's got like a metallic -y effect to it. Covered space. See how everything's lined with non-slip matting. So that's already done for you. Get your 32 inch TV. And that comes out on a bracket as well to make better viewing from the lounge area or your sewer seats. So the bed is a full queen width. It's 152 centimetres wide and 189 centimetres long. So a decent sized bed. You've got a second red arc screen down here, which tells you battery levels, lets you turn everything on and off, water levels, all that. There's another one near the front of the vehicle as well. Great bedside tables. Lots of overhead cupboard space. And again, all this beautifully finished off. Like, absolutely spectacular, look at that. I really like the glosses. They've added a couple of Sirocco fans. So you've got one there and one there. They're a nice little addition coming into summer. The stereo set up. There's a couple of speakers at the front. Wardrobe. So there's his and hers, there's both sides. Lots of drawer space. Just looking at the time on this one, I think we're gonna get through this video quicker than normal. There'll be a number of videos coming out leading up to Christmas, as, as I said earlier. Some of these deliveries are nearing completion all at the same time. 
So they've got the standard cassette toilet, like we said, over outside. Got your towel rails, full size towel rails. Nice mirror. The washing machine built in here. So the Element's got the top load 3.3 kilo washer. Got your control for your water system here, as well as another light switch. Lots of storage, lots and lots of storage. Now, we're gonna open the shower. It's a bit hard to really appreciate the size of this, but one thing we can show is the privacy. So you've got a full blocked off bathroom here when you open that door. And we're going here, you've got your molded in seat, and it's a very big bathroom. I don't know if you can quite gauge how big it is off the video, but there's enough room that you can stand two people in there quite easily. So it's a very big shower. And a nice solid acrylic door to all these flimsy plastic sheet roller things and stuff like that. All right, guys. We have a quick one today. Got to go through some of the colours. Uh, sandstone splashback as well, and that's the um, marble, something or other marble bench top. But there's a few different white bench tops as well. So now, if you have an order in place with us and you like the colours in this one, just take a screenshot and keep it in your little file. So when you come in and pick your colours, we can go through what's in this one. It's very nice though. I said more of a, let's call it a chocolate caramello kind of effect that they've gone in here. So guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you get any new videos. Check out our other videos as well. We've got other models. We've got the a model bigger than this, and we've got a couple of models smaller than this as well. So this one is pretty amazing. All right, any questions, ask in the comments. If you're watching on Facebook, ask down there or reach out directly, give us a call, or message, or email, all the ways we do it nowadays. All right, we'll have a nice day, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.